Now, leading coefficient test. All we're going to do on this is the following. And y'all like this is, we're going to either write rising or falling. Everybody got it? Easiest way to do this is right here. Look at the number in front of the highest exponent. That's called the leading coefficient. Number in front of x's are coefficients. What is the number in front of this x to the fourth? It's a what? It's a 2. What is 2? Positive. So think about it. On the right side of your graph, all the x's are positive. And so if that number is a positive, then that means everything's positive. And so if all the numbers are positive on the right side, your graph's going to what? Rise. Rise. So always do the right side first. Because the right side will always do whatever that is. If it's positive, it's going to rise. If it's negative, it's going to what? Fall. That's it. And then the left side will be determined by the exponent. Because if the exponent is even, that means they have to do the same thing. The odd ones were the Egyptians, like walk like the Egyptian, right? Those were the odd ones. The even ones do the same, like the referee. So if this one's going, so this is even. That means it has to be the same. So if the right side's rising, what's the left side have to do? It also has to rise. It also has to rise. So that's what it's going to do. Okay? As I look at number nine, notice, still do the same thing. What's the number in front of x to the five? It's a one. And what is one? Is it positive or negative? Positive. Positive. So guess what the right side has to do? Rise. The right side rises. Now I'm going to look at the exponent on the highest one. These don't matter at all. Got it? They don't matter at all. What is the exponent here? Odd. odd. Well, if it's odd, that means the opposite. And the reason here, like I said, on the right side, if those are all positive and that's positive, it's going to rise. But what happens now if there's an odd number of negatives? That means you're in times of positive means the answer will be what? Negative. That's why it's going to then be the opposite. So because it's odd, it's different, and the left side is going to fall. The left side is going to fall because it, the exponent said they had to be what? Different. And then the last one, notice it doesn't have to be the first number. My leading coefficient is this number back here. So what would be the number in front of it? It's not positive one, but what? Negative. So this time, if it's negative, think about it. If all these x's are positive, multiply by that one negative, it's going to make all the right side what? Fall. So if that first number is negative, it falls. If it's positive, it rises. Now look at the exponent. Exponent 6. Is it odd or even? Even. And so even, are they same or different? Same. So if the right side falls, the left side has to what? Falls. That's what you're doing on it. Now, if y'all hold up one second, if you're copying that down, I'm going to go to the calculator because guess what else you can do with the calculator on these? Turn it on. I'm going to go to y equals. Let me clear that previous one out. And y'all, if I do 1 minus x to the 6th power and I hit graph, what are, what's the left and right side both doing on this? You can also do it that way. You can graph it and just look to see what they're what, whether they're what, rising or falling. Those are the easiest ways to do that on those problems right there. Okay.